Good afternoon everyone, this is Metal Mind with Secret Revelation and today I'm going to show you a software, a program, a very simple program that will make your life on installing mods extremely easy. The name of this is called MultiMC and I'm going to show you right now how to get there. First you're going to, on, to a website called fork.net forward slash MultiMC and I'm, the link will be here in the annotations. Next, you would just click Download MultiMC, choose your operating system, from mine it's Windows, and it'll bring you to AdFly. How you do is click Download, once AdFly loads, wait 5 seconds, one, and you can click Skip Ads, and you will get the download for MultiMC right here. You run it. and it will open this little window here so this is what it looks like and as you can see here I have multiple icons here now what do, the, what do these mean what these are is basically instances so each with a different set of mods installed and you click the little folder thing with a star here you will open the central mods folder so if you put all of your mods here and then let's say I create a new instance or I just call the new instance here vanilla you click the new instance here we can go down to create new instance copy an existing instance or import an existing installation so if you create a new instance just name it something new instance and I'll create a new one for you in alphabetical order so it's right here and you can change its icon you can rename it you can edit the mods. Now here is the best part, the mod editing part. All you have to do is go to the central mods folder, drag any mod from here directly into here. So my I have a separate set of central mods folder and I will show you where it is right now. And Minecraft stuff, 1.2.5 mods, and here is my mods folder. So all I have to do is drag, for example, I'm going to install mod loader in here so go to mod loader just drag it in here boom it's done let's go find audio mod boom it's done uh... 4096 uh... let's go to 4096 fix boom it's done now some of the mods I regularly use for example tropograph 3.0.2 boom it's in oh yeah of course I'm gonna need forge for that don't I minecraft forge 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 hmm but yeah, so that's what you do, and it's extremely easy. There we go. Forge after mod loader. You don't need um, mod loader MPM anymore, so that's good. So, and then if you want anything else, for example, uh, doggy talents, that works. Infocraft, anything else, they all work, and you're good. And of course, getting up to finding here is a must. And there we go. All you do is just close it now right click it and play and it will allow you to log in you can force update you can play offline just button right here just log in and then it will take this opportunity to log you in right after you get logged in it will download all the packages for the new instance create the dot minecraft folder inside the instance add all the classes to it and run the game and good thing about this is once it if it ever crashes it will show you an error log so for example there's probably going to be a crash with this one I don't know because <laughs> it's a new installation there could be any anything could happen so here's an example you can see here it's installing the mods adding the class files and I'll show you the bar right here which is pretty neat and what just happened <laughs> There you go. It loaded Minecraft. That's what happened. You're gonna off go through the same things here. And um, fork the person who's working on this. Oh, looks like it worked. So you can just play as usual. I hope there's gonna be a central texture pack soon. So uh, multi MC, multi MC. Let's see if it works. If all the mods are in, because that'd be cool if it's in. 
If it ever crashes, I want to show you a crash, but that's kind of hard with very few mods installed. Which is totally fine. That means the mods are just that awesome. <laughs> and enjoy. Yeah. So just have fun. Doggy talents worked. Yeah, my computer isn't the best. So it's lagging right now. I do apologize. But there you go. That is how it works. And my world is loading right now. And my CPU is dying. <laughs> it only goes to 2.3 gigahertz. And I don't have a... How do you say it? Oh, there's the sun. I don't have a... Dedicated graphics card, so extremely laggy right now. But that's okay. That's totally fine. And if you're done, just quit, quit game. And it brings you to this thing again. You can click this to refresh. Click this here to view the instance folder. So click here and click here. You can go to the instance folder. If you want to edit anything directly. So for example, uh, I want to go into my Tropicraft instance. And go to my uh, texture pack and add a texture pack here. So that could work. And for example, oh, that was funny, yeah. Do I have anything here? No, it's a clean, clean install. You can click about to check your version here. Um, the version of the mod, of this software and all that. And you can of course check the change log, see what has been changed. I just say create location instance folder, blah, blah, blah. And right now he is porting his this software over to a faster language, uh, program language, into version 4.0. So, um, this is how you use it. Many of the links are in the description. And if you are wondering where to download mods, I have a perfect place for you. You just go to your web browser, and I use RockMelt, which is a, <laughs> a mod of Google Chrome very fast. There we go. And we just go to http bit.ly forward slash mod list form and it'll bring you to my project if my computer decides to work let's try that again http there we go it should work now and it's not working. Oh, of course not. There's a W in there. It should work now. Complete mod list. There you go. So this is my Minecraft form thread. It's not a white page, but here it is. As you can see, it is. It's a, It's called a mod index. And this is what it looks like. So let's go there right now. And you just click on this big mod index icon, and it brings you here. So this is my menu. Ephemeral Dreams, that's my uh, let's play. And this is the current date and time, which is pretty cool. Last time it updated, I mean. So website is in development. Soon there will be a website. Over here you see a table of contents. List, list of mods with popularity. You can click here. We can just go directly to list of mods. And it will show you a complete list of mods of all the mods available right now and their updated information. So most of the major mods have been updated already. Or you can browse mods by genre. So you have add-on mods. You got cheats, armor, base, edi base, <laughs> base edits, consumption, fantasy, fauna, flora. Fauna is for animals, flora is for plants and such. Effects. So for different video oh, sound effects, got gameplay changing mods, AI, tech, and all that. Of course, ter terrain edits and all that. I'm gonna have to, yeah, <laughs> so many mods to do. There we go. And then you can go to 1.5. This list here is not as updated as this one, because this is just a copy of that one from a while ago. So this was updated the 20th of April. And go to AZ list for our alphabetical list of mods. And right here, so you can just see all the mods in alphabetical order, which is pretty awesome. And finally, you have, for example, contact us, so you can see where we are. We are on Twitter, forum, YouTube, and we have our, we have our own subreddit and a Facebook. And then you can go to Darrow20 to check out his season, current season, season 4 playlists. 
the mods he uses, the links to them, and the multi MC on how to install his mods. The MCO mod pack here will give you a uh, Args Minecraft overhaul with a ton of mods, which are pretty awesome. And it's a mod pack, so you just install that. And if you are wondering about anything, so just enter this uh, survey right here on our service and just fill this out and you can just tell us where we can improve on and we'll answer you and finally we're working on right now an ID database so we'll just put in all the IDs for all the blocks so you can check before and edit the block IDs so that your game doesn't crash and now we'll, next video will be on how to edit your block IDs see you next time